leader must know how to manage success most importantly the failure every action of the leader should be transparent you were also very involved with india's missile program and that you earned the nickname the missile man of india could you please tell us about that experience and what the what were the main lessons you learned i learned uh, uh, the one of the important thing in this programs uh, both space program missile program we should know how to handle the not only how to handle the success how to handle the failures particularly you are in the management environment we are turn it i want the young people to understand how to manage the failure because any task you do you have to come across problem problem should not become the captain of the individual or the project chief and uh, the project chief should become the captain of the problems and defeat the problem and succeed so this is what i have learned how did you come to become india's president what leadership qualities do you think are needed to lead a country that is so huge so complex and so chaotic well i won't say chaotic uh, every uh, you know the type of uh, order comes out of disorder okay <laughs> this is what's happening now uh, i was elected as a president of india 2002 2007 i yeah, think through a well structured election process uh, now the leader not only for to become the president you need to give any political leadership or technological leadership uh, you have to have six traits uh, one leader should have and uh, what are the six traits number one leader must have a vision without a vision he will not be a leader he or she so leader must have a vision the second one leader must be able to travel it in into an unexplored path normally tendency to travel the you know well well laid out path but the leader he takes a path of untraveled path third thing leader must know how to manage success most importantly the failure uh, any mission he does or she does so he has to go through some failure he sh- he, they should know how to manage the failures could you give us an example from your own experience about managing failure well in my own experience like this 1973 i was uh, i was became the project director for satellite launch vehicle program slv3 it is called to put a rohini satellite the orbit by 1980 so when the time came 1979 i think it's in august in so satellite going the orbit the whole rocket system went into bay of bengal okay so it was a big uh, failure so that day oh uh, indian space research charge the chief prasatish davan there's a press call for 7 o'clock we launched 7:45 there's a press call for the whole world press is there in sereri kota at launch base so i still remember the chairman of the organization the leader of the organization taking the press conference i was by his side he said uh, we have failed first time we tried to attempted and uh, this failure really makes us to believe we have to do more technological support my team and they worked very hard definitely in a year they will succeed so i was a mission director i was a project director i am responsible for the failure and uh, he took the responsibility of failure as a chairman of the organization and the leader of the organization next year 1980 july we succeeded the whole nation was jubilant there was a press conference prasatish davan told me you go and take the press conference okay the message is when the failure occurred the leader of the organization warned the leader of failure when the success came he gave to his team that the best management principle i have not learned previously any books have not taught me 
I learnt from that experience. Okay, that's a beautiful story. Thank you very much for sharing uh, that. Next one, uh, fourth point: leader must have courage to take decision. That's our problem today throughout the world. Leader must have a courage to take decision. Fifth one: leader should have a nobility in management. I mean, nobility and management a big question mark. So I believe leader should have a nobility in management. Every action of the leader should be transparent. You know what I mean. It's a every that is a leader should work with integrity and succeed with integrity. Leader should work with integrity and succeed with integrity. And uh, I I believe president, since you asked the question, has to be continuously in touch with the people. Rashtrapati Bhavan, where uh, I. I was uh, there, became a people's bhavan. Instead of Rashtrapati bhavan, it becomes people's bhavan. And also, I travel into the whole state, cutting across hills, deserts, and sea. I was in touch with millions and millions of people.